Welcome to Auction Version 4, the latest event management software tool from Auction Systems. In this last tutorial in the Event Night series, I will show you the Check-in Attendees action. To get to the Event Night tasks at your event, click the Event Night button on the main Home taskbar. The first action in the Event Night task is Check-in Attendees. It comes first in the list of actions because this action would occur at Check-in, the very beginning of your event. I think this is the least important action for the majority of events and would only be possible if your attendees have pre-registered. And if this is the case, there is a much easier and more efficient way to do check-in. If your guests have pre-registered and you have pre-assigned bid numbers, we suggest you have bid paddles or catalogs or whatever check-in packet you wish to give to your guest pre-labeled with their names. These labels can be made in the Documents task of Auction and they can include the table number and the bid number if desired. When a guest checks in, hand them their labeled check-in material and they can be off in bidding. If you are allowing some walk-ins or to accommodate new people that may be taking the place of someone who pre-registered but could not attend, have a form and pen handy for them to write their name, address, phone number, and any other information you would like to have in case you need to contact the walk-in after the event. The check-in staff will keep the filled out form and hand the walk-in a bid number that is not being used by another guest. We suggest you do not give the walk-in the bid number of the pre-registered guest they are replacing as that often causes confusion. Just give them a new bid number that has not been assigned to anyone else and then write that bid number on the contact form. Send the contact form back to the private data entry area where the computer or computers are and the data entry team can enter the walk-in and the bid number they are using into the project. The walk-in guest does not have to wait while this happens. They can be in bidding on auction items. When all the guests have checked in, any bidder packets that were not picked up are for the no-shows. If all or the majority of your guests do not pre-register, the check-in guest action is not necessary. Every bidder will have obviously checked in because that is the only way their names and bid numbers make it into the project. We still advise your computer or computers not be visible to your guests. They should be in a private data entry area. All guests will fill out the contact form and the completed forms will be sent back to the data entry area. The minimum information that needs to get entered into the data before winning bids can be recorded is the bidder's name and the bid number he or she is using. If the data entry team has time, they can enter addresses and other information too, but that can wait until after the event. Just hang on to those contact forms. This method is still faster than having computers at check-in, and the guests can be in bidding while their name is getting entered into the computer. But check-in attendees is something that some organizations have asked for, so let's take a look at how to perform this action at the event. Click the Check-in Attendees button. This is the Check-in Attendees action screen. Status is a broad filter of which names in the entire data set will be shown in the potential attendees list below. The four invitee status choices are attending with an entry, attending without an entry, unknown, and regrets. And by default, Auction has already checked attending with an entry and attending without an entry as the most likely list of potential attendees you'd like to see in this list. If ticket purchases and entry assignments have been entered in the project and you only want to see the people who are attending that have already purchased a ticket, uncheck the other choice. Refine allows you to filter the potential attendees even further, and by default, Checked In has been selected as the first refinement. Both attendees that have already checked in and attendees that have not checked in are in the list below. Notice Josephine Earp appears in the list of checked in guests on the right and also is still in the list of potential attendees on the left. And the Checked In box is checked for her name record. If I want the list on the left to get smaller every time I check in a guest, simply uncheck the Attendees Checked In button so that the list below will only show attendees that have not already checked in. Like many lists and reports and documents in Auction, I can further refine the list of records I want, in this case the list of potential attendees, by adding another refinement such as maybe group assignment. And I can narrow it down to a specific group. Then the list of potential attendees below will only be the people in that specific group. To check in a guest, scroll through the list of potential attendees to find the person checking in, or use the search fields to find a certain name. Once the name has been found, 
highlight it and use the single right arrow to check in the person by moving the name to the list on the right. Double clicking name will also move that name to the right. The double right arrows will check in everyone in the potential attendees list. The single left arrow will remove a person from the checked in list and put them back into attendees not checked in. And the double left will remove everyone from the list on the right back into the list of attendees not checked in. If there are several people checking in at the same time, highlight the first person in the list of potential attendees, then hold down your control key, and then click the next person checking in, and then the next. Once all the names of the people checking in in this batch are highlighted, click the single right arrow, and you will just move the highlighted people to the checked in list. Please see our other version 4 tutorial topics. Thank you for joining us.